Okay, everyone, I am building a fire. This video is on how to light a fire. I have one Duralite starter stick, which took a few minutes for me to ignite with my lighter, but I created this kindling wood before I started this fire earlier, and I stacked it like a hashtag. You need to be able to allow the air to flow through and there needs to be quite a bit of kindling quite a bit of kindling so you need one to two starter sticks to start a fire and then you need about nine to ten pieces of kindling wood now these are kind of tiny pieces but as the fire gets going I'm gonna add a little more this is more, so I got this bigger piece I'm going to put right there, see what happens. And it's getting a little smoky, which means it's catching a flame. There we go. Whoa! And it is windy! So I got a draft coming down from out there. Wowza! Okay, there. We got a storm rolling in, sorry. We got a storm rolling in and the energy is expensive. So this is like the best way to heat the house if I can. But here the kindling wood is catching fire. That's good. I restocked. Okay, so I'll show you my, my situation. I have kindling wood over here. I just used my hand ax. And then I brought in a pile of almond wood which a lot of it is not split and I have one of my logs in there. I should have an, a split log, which will probably burn easier like this because it catches flame on the, the splintering area. Owie! Don't do this at home guys, unless you have a grown up. So you get your wood. I just brought it. This was already in here from earlier today, this log. And the key is to get your kindling fire going for a while. It's taken me a while to figure out how to light a really good fire. Okay, so see how the wood is like about almost halfway burned through. And it needs to get to a good temperature like from a little distance. Like, oh, okay. And I, I could have taken that log out and picked a better one, but I'm going to stick with it. Maybe add a smaller log right out here in front. Grab, grab this log. And it's a good flame right now. I'm going to place the log just like that and I'm gonna use my pokey my hokey pokey so I'm gonna space put enough space between this log and that log to allow the air to flow through if there's not enough oxygen the fire will like go out so like see right now I could already see that it doesn't like this And what are my children watching? Minecraft, of course. So always have your fire tools and your kindling. I need way more than that. But I'll cut more in the garage. Don't get splinters. I just got a splinter. But okay, so I've got a toasty little fire going and my mantle it's ready for Christmas but these racks are very helpful to allow the oxygen to flow underneath and then you never want to stack your logs like right next to each other you want to allow space for the, the air to come through if there's too much space the fire won't ignite and if there's 
let's see. It just has to be a, a perfect amount of space in between the fuel. And again, let your kindling burn for a while. You need a lot of kindling to get a good flame going. And then, yeah, we should have a good fire for a while. So that is how to light a fire. Thanks for watching. It's just mesmerizing. I've decided it's my new favorite thing to light fires and just watch. Watch for the different colors that come out of the flame. Sometimes it, I mostly get purple flame, yellow and orange, but occasionally with a good log, I will get a white flame and it's pretty beautiful. It's very meditative and spiritual for me to light a fire too. Sometimes I'll just light my log, I'll start my fire and then I'll just, I don't know, just uh, the light, the energy, I just start to pray and oh, it's very healing. So if you ever get the chance to learn how to light a fire in a fireplace, do so carefully. Woo. For your log cabin experience, or maybe you're camping, or maybe you're just like, I want to get a fire pit and try this out. Christmas is a good time to invest in a fireplace or a fire pit. I would encourage you to find somebody who hand makes fire pits because those are awesome. Much funner than going to like a Home Depot. You can go to a Home Depot somewhere. But just having a fire pit is very, very fun. And it just brings people together. Fire has a way to bring people together. Have a good night, everyone.